Welcome to Axon Object View. Axon Data Governance is a knowledge repository tool that you can use to document the data items that require governance. It maintains an inventory of metadata, such as systems, data sets, attributes, definitions, and projects, amongst others shown here. These are stored as objects within these inventories and links are created between objects. In this demonstration, we will take a look at an object within Axon. The object we will look at is the CMD system and we can find this using the quick search. I enter CMD in the quick search menu and from the list presented, I can go directly to the CMD system by clicking on the link here. When you conduct a quick search, you will be transported to directly within the object to view the details of that object. The summary page for the CMD system has opened. The heading here confirms that you are looking at the CMD system. Several of the tabs are common across all types of objects, specifically summary, stakeholders, impact, history, and change. We will explore these now in more detail. The summary tab. As you can see, the summary tab gives information about the system such as its full name, as well as the abbreviated name, and the type of system that it is. This determines which symbol type is used to represent the system on a map. Over to the right, we can also see some of the basic classifications have been defined, such as the axon status, showing as active, the life cycle status, which shows the system is in production, and the axon viewing status, which shows it is open to the public. This means that anyone can view this object regardless of whether or not they have a stakeholder role on it. In the data content summary, we can also see a summary of the type of data that flows through this system. Scrolling down, there's an area that you can attach additional documentation. Here we can see a guide to using the CMD system has been attached for reference. If we click onto the stakeholders tab, this tab will show us which people are linked to this object. For example, the system IT owner has been defined as Darius Clayton and the system business owner has been defined as Colin Craig. These stakeholders are crucial for workflows as when a change request is raised on this object, it is these people that it will be directed to. If we scroll down, we can see the wider stakeholder community, which is auto-generated. This is created as a result of the links from this system object to other objects that are associated within Axon. This is a very useful feature as it allows you to see all related stakeholders. So if you have a question regarding, for instance, the data quality relating to this system, or which processes it is used for, you could follow up with the particular stakeholder here. The Impact tab. The Impact tab is where you can make connections to other objects and browse the connections that already exist. This system so far has just been connected to processes. But if we wanted to create a new connection, we can do that using edit mode. You can use edit mode if you have the right permissions. 
For more information on this, you can take a look at our permissions video. From the system facet, you are able to link to a product, a client, or a legal entity. For instance, if I wanted to record this system was hosted by a particular legal entity, but owned by another, I would go into the Legal Entity tab and select the options from a drop-down. Here I can say that this system is physically hosted by London PLC, but it is IT supported by Bangalore Limited. Once saved and closed, this will create the connections which inform the Unison search. As a result of this connection, if you search on this system and the system facet, you will now see these two legal entities listed in the legal entity facet. I'm going to close this without saving my changes. The History tab gives you a full audit trail of the object. This is important for good data governance as it means you can see who is responsible for each change made. You can also choose to run a difference report if you would like to see what has changed in a certain time period. Here we can see what has changed between this from date to this date by pressing the compare button. The difference report is created and opened. Finally, the Change tab. The Change tab shows you change requests that have been raised for this particular object. You can see pending, running and complete change requests here. These change requests can be raised by any user to request more information or that a change be made. For example, you can see that someone has raised a change request for more information about who can access this system.